All right, so you're at the insecta table in our little vertebrate excursion here. We have all these tables set up for you that you're going around. You're looking mostly at arthropods, although one table is the anconoderm table. We like to keep pointing that out. Um, this is probably the, the, insect, the insecta class of the arthropods. There's, there's just so many of them. Um, we'll get to that in a second. Let, let's just start with this. So we're, we're in class insect or the insects, uh, and that really comes from a Latin word meaning to cut into sections. All right. And so, so why did they name this group insects if it means to cut in sections? Well, they have three, all insects have three tagmata. They have three body sections with a head, thorax, and abdomen. Uh, they have one pair of antenna. They have three pairs of, uh, of legs. So it means they have six legs total, three pairs. And some of them have wings, um, either one pair or two pair. Uh, there, there's other things we could add here. We could add compound eyes, um, and, and I'm going to go ahead and add it right now because I know when Mr. Beichler teaches you the wonderful insect song, that, that's that's part of it. So these are, I mean, these are the basic characteristics, though. All right. So they have the head, thorax, abdomen. They have compound eyes, uh, and one pair of antenna, and three, and um, they might have wings. So. The, the thing about them is, this is funny because this is probably going to be the shortest screencast I'm going to do for any of these tables, and it's probably for the biggest group. Insects are the most abundant form of life known on Earth, really known to science. There's about a million species. In actuality, I bet that number's low. Um, depending on where you, where you look and what you read and what you watch, I've seen that number as high as 6 million species. Um, so this is saying a million that have been named and described, but there's probably just so much so many more than that that we haven't named and haven't described yet um, that and if you think about it that's more than if we take all the other animals we know about and add them together we have more insects so they really insects have just found the way to fill every niche and to move into every environment so I mean they're everywhere and, and, and we could go on and on we could make this you know we could easily make this a 15 long minute minute-long screencast or whatever, but, you know, really what's the point? Uh, because there's so many and they're so different, I, there's no way I could describe all of them. So I'm giving you something very general here, but then we have all kinds, of, if, you, if you look at the tables we have set up, and we haven't set the tables up as I'm recording this, but I know in the past we've had four tables just for insects, but then like the centipedes and millipedes will have one table, you know, to, to, for both of them. So think about that. I mean, there's just so much. We're going to have you look at um, all kinds of things. There's some insect collections and some insect books and some fact things. And, you know, just there's so many uh, what are good insects, what are bad, you know, pest insects. So make sure you're looking at the other stuff at the table to really get a handle on this group because there's, there's more here uh, that, that I can put in a screencast. And I, I can tell I'm rambling because you saw my screen fade out like it was going to go to screensaver there. Uh, as far as pictures go, I didn't really add much. I, I, you know, I did a quick search on Google Images to find insects, and this, this uh, I searched the word insecta, and this picture came up. And I thought this was good because it gave a, a, a big variety. It showed a big uh, variety of different types of insects. But, uh, you yeah, know, it shows some in larval stages and some in adult stages. But, you know, now that I'm looking at it, guys, I'm not even sure this is good because some of these things on here probably don't fall in the insect category. Uh, I don't know about you, but this looks suspiciously like a tick to me, and that would put that over in the arachnid group. So, anyway, like I said, short screencast, basic idea, what are insects, go back to that head, thorax, abdomen, compound eyes, two antenna, you know, six pairs of legs. Some of them have wings. That's really the, what we, you know, that's really the basics of insect characteristics.